thing, all available empirical evidence showed that Bernie Sanders was a much more popular and a much stronger candidate than Hillary Clinton against every single Republican opponent, including Donald Trump. He was running many points ahead of Clinton on every poll in terms of who he might run against versus her, in terms of approval rating, in terms of popularity. Democrats insisted that we should ignore all of that empirical evidence, that it was unreliable, that once the general election campaign started, Republicans would depict Sanders as a communist, that he would have no chance, in contrast to Clinton, who has already been deeply vetted. We'll never know for certain whether those arguments were true or not, but what I know for certain are, is two things. Number one, that the empirical evidence, weak or unreliable or incomplete as it might have been, all pointed to the fact that Hillary Clinton was highly likely to lose and Bernie Sanders had a greater chance of winning. And, in fact, I wrote an article back in the primary saying, with Donald Trump looming, can we really take the gamble, the huge gamble of nominating a candidate who is as weak and unpopular as Hillary Clinton, but lost that argument, lost that, that debate, and, as a result, Hillary Clinton was the nominee and she lost to Donald Trump. The other point that I think is really worth making is that Sanders, that statement from Senator Sanders is actually quite remarkable, because he isn't coming out and saying everybody who voted for Donald Trump is a racist troglodyte. He's not saying that everyone who voted for Donald Trump is a misogynist who hates women and cast their vote for that reason. He's saying that there are a huge number of people who voted for Donald Trump and not for Hillary Clinton who have very valid grievances. And those grievances are grounded in a system of policies that both political parties have played an equal role in creating. Look at what he's describing, jobs going overseas, uh, industries being destroyed, Wall Street being protected. You can go back into the 80s, into the era of Reagan and trickle-down economics and the destruction of unions to find the genesis of it. And then you look into the 90s with NAFTA and free trade mania and the liberation of Wall Street from all kinds of constraints and into the 2000s, when, in the post-2008 economic crisis, the Obama administration prosecuted not a single Wall Street executive responsible for that crisis, while continuing to build the world's largest penal state, largely for, for poor people, people with no power. And it's this inequality, this oppression of huge numbers of people in the name of globalism and free trade that Bernie Sanders is describing in that statement is why Trump won. And it's the Democrats and the Republicans who played a huge part in constructing that system. And Hillary Clinton, probably above every other politician who could have run, is the symbol of safeguarding that system, of believing in it, of advocating for it, and most of all, of benefiting from